Nityan guys, I welcome you back with my love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Shri Nityananda Paramashivam. Uh, impression. Guru is huge. Guru is big, vast, powerful. Um, I wanted to share about something related to, there's a story of uh, somebody who goes to Buddha and he asks Buddha, how do I want to get enlightened? How do I do it? So then Buddha tells him, who has impressed you the most in your life? And then the person says, uh, my father, my mother, and one of my teachers. So Buddha tells him, okay, you go kill them all and you come back to me, I'll give you enlightenment. And then the disciple is shaken. And Samji was using this, ex this, this example and he was explaining, saying that, uh, of course, when Buddha says go kill them, it does not mean actually physically kill them. He means the impact that these people have had on your life has to be removed. They have impressed you in a certain way that has made you decide to build yourself in the way that you have built yourself. And unfortunately, because these beings were not in the space of enlightenment, the way they impacted you uh, has not impacted you properly because it didn't come from a pure space of enlightenment. So their greed and their fear also got infused in the way that they impacted you. So the Guru is a huge happening. It's a big happening in someone's life. Why? Because he has to override all these memories, all these uh, different things that has impacted uh, me or you in your life. And he has to override that because you need to be impacted by him because he is operating from a space of pure enlightenment. And if you want enlightenment, you have to adopt, you know, his space. So it is also normal when a disciple starts to, you know, to pick up some of their language, uh, you know, body language of the master and all that. Actually, everything that we, we do, we picked it up somewhere from something. Because at that moment we felt impressed and we decided, okay, let, let me pick that up. So like that, we pick up many things here and there and we create our own identity. But when you surrender to the Guru, then the, the body language and the, the, the presence of the Guru, you start to imbibe. So naturally you start to radiate that because that is the only experience you have, real experience you have about the space of enlightenment. So uh, Guru is big, Guru is huge, Guru is impressive and he is impactful and he has to be because he has to free you from the wrong impacts you got in your life. So that's what I wanted to share. That's a powerful click I got about the Guru-Disciple relationship and the importance of having Guru to override all the various impacts we got from people um, as we grew up and as we built our ego, our identity. So that's what I wanted to share with you today. So I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next episode of Guru-Disciple Relationship, The Ultimate. Nityanandam. I welcome you all with my love and respect. Let you all open all your three eyes. Om Nityananda.